Hello, Kate G here. <clears throat> 5 7 p.m. on January 8th. It is a Sunday. I pretty much slept all of Saturday. Uh, Friday, I went out and saw some friends, and then Saturday, I got in at like 3 or 4 and then slept for about 20 hours off and on. Anyway, one good thing to come out of that abundant rest is I finished my first book of the year. I started it right before um, the new year, so maybe like two or three days uh, before January 1st. It is Ocean Vuong's On Earth Were Briefly Gorgeous. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. It's good um, Asian American lit sort of immigrant struggle story. Um, there's a lot of things in it. There's like the immigrant angle. You know the other angle the asian queer angle so there's a lot of the angles um i liked it it was very poetic uh didn't necessarily appreciate the kind of dream like way in which the narrative kind of came up but that's personal preference story was good um relatable in some ways even though he's a queer vietnamese born male uh there was still a lot of parallel so would recommend um, it's good for the Asian queer canon. And the next book I plan on reading is Dave Ramsey's Money Makeover. I got this free as a part of the Facebook uh, Buy Nothing group. So I think I'm going to switch off fiction to nonfiction just because that was so dreamlike. I want something like hard and real. Otherwise, um, things are going okay. Uh, pretty depressed for the past few days. I had a minor... Did I mention my minor... January 3rd breakdown when I suddenly felt like everything was meaningless and my life was pointless and I was so stuck in a rut and it just seemed as if everything had gotten so monotonous and while I was trying to save money and save time and be efficient and be productive I just I kind of lost myself in it and it just suddenly became weirdly dreary and oppressive and monotonous in the most life-sucking joyless way. So I think I have to pull back a little bit on trying to do a no spend January and also try to just like balance like things for my mental health and um, what even if that means spending a little money sometimes just for like variety, which is the spice of life. But let's uh, let's look at my uh, uh, some progress on the weight. OK, so I did I did my measurements and my weight roughly one week um after i started so giant december 31st was my starting point january 8th is my uh, i guess ending point for now and so my metrics have pretty much stayed the same or just gone down very slightly but i think big numbers are i've lost almost two pounds in a week and i've lost about three and a half inches so progress Uh, this is a better angle for me. Anyway, um, I also bought, even though I was trying not to buy things, I got this little external mic. Haven't used it yet for recording, but uh, if I were to record from further away, I can still have the audio coming in really clearly. And uh, yeah, I only cried. Oops, my nose is running. I only cried once for about five minutes this weekend. So that's good. Otherwise, let's see. Um, so on my week, my things of things to do, I am tracking my expenses, even though I ate out a lot. I ate out at BJ's on the 3rd, Pamo Shanter on the 6th, Rich Crab on the 6th, and Tony's Saloon on the 7th at like 2 a.m. I was there till closing. So I've eaten out a little bit more than I intended. Um, how are we on my goals? Read at least 10 books. Read one book. Lose at least 30 pounds. Lost a pound and a half. Save at least $10,000. Well, it's only been a week, so let's, let's do that monthly or quarterly. Create a will. I did create a will. It just needs to be signed and executed, um, and I need to have two witnesses. And then I have traveling and camping goals as well as publishing monthly YouTube content. This will count if I post this. Get that off my list. Okay. T
today I am feeling five and a half out of ten, which is not bad. All right, signing off.